Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. Now we are going to discuss a topic called Cascade Analysis. Cascade Aerodynamics A cascade is a stationary array of blades. Cascade is constructed for measurement of performance similar to that used in axial compressors. Cascade usually has porous end walls to remove boundary layer for a two-dimensional flow. Radial variation in the velocity field can therefore be excluded. Cascade analysis relates the fluid turning angle to blading geometry and measure losses in the stagnation pressure. The cascade is mounted on a turntable so that its angular direction relative to the inlet can be set at different incidence angles. Measurement usually consists of pressures, velocities and flow angles downstream of the cascade. Probe travel probe traverse at the trailing edge of the blades for measurement. Blade surface static pressure using static pressure taps. Coefficient of pressure distribution. Here we can see a schematic diagram of linear open circuit cascade wind tunnel where we will be having where we will be having a cascade setup at the final end. Similar to the wind tunnel, we will be having a driving motor and screen and then axial flow fan here. And then we will be having a diffuser section, then we will be having a settling chamber and then we will be, we will be having wire mesh screens in order to remove the obstacles. And then we will be having a contraction section here, this one contraction section and boundary layer suction slot. Here we will be having a test section over here. This cascade will be having a cascade axis which can be adjustable, which can be adjusted so that we can uh, in, we can study at different angles. So here we can see the complete cascade. So here this cascade is nothing but as we have come up with the first statement that is arrangement of series of blades. Next, we will be having a nomenclature where I will be having called and then we will be having series of blades which are arranged side by side with a different incidence angle alpha and al alpha 1. Then cascade aerodynamics, the cascade is mounted on a turntable so that its angular direction relative to the inlet can be set at different incidence angles. Measurement usually consists of pressure, velocities and flow angles downstream of the cascade. Special nulling type of probes, those are cylindrical, claw or cobra types are used in the measurements. Performance parameter, measurements from cascade that is velocities, pressures, flow angles can be measured from this. Losses in total pressure can be expressed as a total pressure loss coefficient. WPLC can be given as P01 minus P02 by half rho 1 V infinity V1 square. Then we will be having total pressure loss is very sensitive to change in the incidence angle. At a very high incidence, flow is likely to separate from the blade surface, eventually leading to stalling of the blades. Blade performance for loading can be accessed using static pressure coefficient that can be given as cp is equal to p local by p reference divided by half rho v1 square where p local is blade surface static pressure and p reference is the reference static pressure usually measured at a cascade inlet the cp distribution usually plotted as cp versus x by c gives an idea about codwise load distribution here we can see normal operation and stalled operation and a graph which represents total pressure loss coefficient to incidence angle degrees can be seen in this particular manner. Losses in a compressor blade Nature of losses in an axial compressor are of four types. Viscous losses 3D effects like tip leakage flow, secondary flow, etc. 
shock losses and mixing losses these are the four types of uh, nature of losses in axial compressors estimating the losses crucial design loss control mechanism however isolating these losses not easy and often done through empirical correlations total losses in a compressor is the sum of the above losses viscous losses are profile losses annulus losses and end wall losses profile losses on account of profile of nature of the air fall cross section and annulus losses growth of boundary layer along the axis end wall losses boundary layer affects in the corner that is junction between the blade surface and the casing or hub 3d effects secondary flow flow through curved blade passages tip leakage flows flow from pressure surface to suction surface at the blade tip here we can see direction of rotation of this blades and suction surfaces and tip leakages how these are leakage leaking from bottom to top and then pressure on the surfaces or how uh, it's varying and here you can see tip leakage vertex formation of vertex because of the rotation and at the hub also will be will be able to see that secondary vertices and suction surface formations shock losses due to interaction of shocks at the blade tip with the primary flow of the corner in transonic rotors mixing losses interaction of a flow from the rotor with the succeeding stator stator wakes with the succeeding rotor etc including the effect of wake interactions with the blades the annulus wall reason account of her up to 50% of the total losses the leakage vertex interacts with the blade boundary layer casing boundary layer and secondary flow there is a large turbulence production due to mixing of this zone the presence of a shock wave increases the complexity in the hub region there are corner stall which may increase the effective blockage with this we will be winding up the video if you like the video please do like share and subscribe